Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, two days ago we made a video about our brother who is in jail right now and for sure we remember him in our prayer and I hope many of you already did contact your authority if you live in the West so we can do help him as much as we can. And I will make another video soon about this issue. Today our topic is about how smart are they? You know, I never saw a Muslim, he is not a genius. I mean, look at them. <clears throat> when they try to refute me, they are not only they refute me, I mean, come on, I mean, this is, I don't know what, sometimes I don't know what to say. You feel that you are out of words. I mean, look at this. I mean, you know, you can tell those are, those are the one who will defend Islam. If those are the one who will defend Islam, what about the one who do not know? None of them, he even speak Arabic. And those who speak Arabic don't dare to call us. And those who don't dare to call us, they are the one who speak Arabic. Because simply if they call, they will know it's the end of their career, which is making a lot of money. But I will show you an example of the Muslims, how smart they are. So let us know this together. This is a, a text message we have since uh, two days ago, but I like it and I think I'm going to keep it for every time I go live on air. This is an example of a smart Muslim who he said, and his name EIC. <clears throat> uh, he's saying the Quran says, and we have indeed made the Quran easy to understand. So easy to understand. Any Indonesian can open the Quran, he can understand in two seconds. So why you have those Ustad? As long as it's so easy to understand. And why you have Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, and tens of thousands to explain the verse, and none of, the, none of them agree about the meaning of the verse. Because if they agree, actually, you do not need a second interpretation, and third interpretation, and fourth interpretation. That's one, one is enough. What is the need of the rest? So here you see the smart, intelligent religion. Allah he explained the Quran and it's so explained to the point we have to write tens of thousands of explanation to the explained Quran. I mean, do you see how smart this religion is? But here you notice that the one who made the verse is more stupid than the one who was talking about the verse. Because if the Quran is made by Allah and Allah is saying that he explained the Quran and yet the Muslim cannot understand the Quran, that's mean the one who made this verse is an idiot. Which verse you can understand? Which chapter? The same chapter you are posting, if I post it for you, you will die laughing. Shall I go there? Chapter 5, 54, verse number 17. Allah made it so easy. Let us go there, actually. Why not? Chapter 54, verse number 17. But we will go to the chapter first. And see, I mean, the same chapter saying it is so easy to understand how much this chapter can, you know, can be mean anything. Look at this. Look at this stupidity. Oh, sorry, this is in Indonesian now. I, I was practicing my skills in Indonesian because, as you know, I am the same as Ali. He speaks 70,000 languages. Se sorry, 70 millions? I forgot the number, really. The Hadith of the Shia. I'm getting old, you know. So like he speaks like 70 million languages. You know, I speak 69.999 million languages, not 70 million, sorry. I mean, Ali, he beat me. So the gun, the gun, the ga, Allah, yaha, maha, bahu. Okay, whatever. Let us switch to the, to the English one, otherwise we will get dizzy. Excuse me, Indonesian people, but I have no idea what it says there. Talaha dakat datani kdadakan sati duha talaha tarabilaha bulan. What the heck, Bulan? Okay, what happened now? I mean, how in the world there's a God? He starts saying that the judgment day is near and the moon is split. And this is 1400 years ago. Actually, it doesn't say even judgment day is near. It says, It's in the corner. And the moon splitting is a sign of the judgment day. But there's no judgment day. Here we go. Anyone can explain to me what is the purpose of this one? 
And who is the, who is the one who split the moon? You ask the Muslim, who is the one who split the moon? They say it's Muhammad. Wait, 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 it says Muhammad. They say it's Allah. Wait, wait, it says Allah. I mean, do you see how easy it is? Right away, he start moon split, judgment day is coming. And that's it. No hello, no how you doing, no introduction, what happened? Like Muhammad maybe was standing, and people, they say to him, hey, hey can you split the moon? Muhammad, he posed his finger at the moon, he gave him a finger, and the moon split. And by the way, Abdul, if the moon is split, you know, you remember there's a there's a channel. Uh, he's a genius, you know. He make videos to refute me supposedly. He said the reason nobody noticed that this is not historian wrote about it because it happened for a few seconds only. That's deep. It happened only for a few seconds, my friend. A few seconds or a few years. The whole world should see it. I mean, at least the one who is facing the night time. Did it happen in the night time or in the daytime? <laughs> so anyway, uh, when they say uh, uh, that this is a book which is explained, and then we go and read the book, and we find there's no even a purpose of this book. I mean, what is the purpose of this chapter? Who is the one who split the moon? And where is the judgment day? And what is the relation between splitting the moon and the judgment day? Like, is the moon still there? So do we have two moons now? Because if the moon is split, we should have two moons until now. The Muslim, they post a picture for you from NASA. They say, see, there's a crack. It's idiot. This is a valley. We have, a, we have the Grand Canyon. It's bigger. It's a valley, valley. This is not the earth is a split. The earth is not. Did Allah glue it together after he split it? Because it says, in Shaqqa al -Khamar. Anyway, so if we read, you know, and you know, look what, look at this. What is this? And we made, uh, you know, okay. Uh, then he called on his Lord, I am overcome, though help me. So we opened the gate of heaven with water pouring forth. Okay, well, hold on. We start with the moon splitting, then we jump to Noah. What is the relationship? Any Muslim can tell me? Like, was the mean? Uh, uh, by the way, when you say uh, the moon is split and judgment day is near, we don't even know who's saying that. And this is is that is that in the story of Noah? Otherwise, why Noah is there? Right away, he jumped to speak to about Noah. So if you read it, you will think that this is Noah talking. And this is what happened to Noah, where it says Muhammad. How we will know this is happening to who, where, how, when? So anyway, and now Noah, uh, by the way, there's a guy he says in, in uh, his name is uh, the same guy, the same genius guy. He said this, what kind of God he killed thousands of people? So the flood of Noah was what? <laughs> Abdul. <laughs> Sodom and Gomorrah was what? This is written in your Quran, you idiot. We are just reading it. What kind of God he killed thousands of people, huh? I mean, this Abdul, he follow a machine of killing, a rape, and he is a question the God of the Bible. What kind of God he do that? What kind of God? Hmm? And here you notice that those people, they are highly intelligent, intelligent those who defend Islam. Sex slavery in the Bible, look, look, look. I mean, the whole Quran is about more than half of your wife, mistress, they call them wives. They are slaves. They are kidnapped from their husband. Look at this coward. Look. You see the hypocrisy? Open the book of Musnad Ahmad. You will see the rules how to buy a slave. How to check her private part. What you can touch, what you cannot touch. And if you touch, you have to buy her. Open. The Quran says, whatever you own by your right hand possess. So a Muslim Abdul he is desperate. Okay, well, you know, let's, let us try to make the Bible look bad. And, you know, okay, the, there is a slavery in the Bible. Hmm, okay. Well, the whole nation of the Jews has been taken as a slave. And, you know, Moses, you, you Muslims, you, you, you post even the words of Moses, which is coming to him from God, about eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. They enslaved them, he enslaved them back. They killed their children, they killed their children back. They attacked them, they attacked them back. 
But the question is, Muhammad, he was attacking whom? People who never attacked him. He is a filthy man. So when a Muslim they try to def you know to defend, we find it very like and like human trafficking. Look at this, human trafficking in the Bible. Uh, you, uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did Muhammad exchange Safiya for seven heads or eight sex slaves after they killed all the family of those women in her tribe? And the Bible have sex trafficking and human trafficking. Did your prophet, one of his name is Ba'i or Abid, the one who sells slaves? So here you see the hypocrisy of those idiots who they are so desperate to defend their religion. Now we go to another Abdul. And now for sure if we want to go over this, uh, the Quran is so easy to understand. Allah explain it where it says that, you know, we will see that this is very stupid because there is no explanation of anything. First of all, who is Nuh? You know, when the Quran says Nuh, who is Nuh? Any Muslim can tell me? Just to show you how stupid this book, this book, because it's a theft from the Bible, most of the story are a story from the Bible, we cannot find anything about, okay, who is Nuh? This guy Noah, who is Noah? Any Muslim can tell me who is Noah? Okay, forget about Noah. Who is Ibrahim? Which is Abraham, supposedly. The Quran sometimes says Abraham, sometimes says Ibrahim. And then you uh, print of the Quran, they make it Ibrahim, all of it. <laughs> they took Abraham. <laughs> Anyone can tell me who is Ibrahim in the Quran? Who is this guy Ibrahim? Where he was? Where he was born? Who is his father? If you go in the Quran, you will see a very stupid statement saying that there's a guy, his name is Ibrahim, his father, his father, his name is Azar. Look, Azar, you idiot. Who is this Ibrahim? Azar. Hmm. Let us laugh together. Chapter 6, verse number 74. The idiot Muhammad, he was listening to people who they are quoting the story of Ibrahim or Abraham, that Abraham, he said to his family, this is foolish to worship idols. The stupid Muhammad, he thought that the name of the father of Muhammad is foolish. He do not know what Azar mean. Azar is an Aramaic word. So the idiot, he thought that when Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, he is saying his father's name is Azar. <laughs> if you replace the word foolish with the whole sentence you will see it makes sense because there's nobody will say like so he said to his father as or why he had many fathers i mean do we need to add the name after the word father you know what i mean why he why it says he said to his father Azar? Why he have two fathers? Maybe four. Maybe five. Simply he's saying to him, This is foolish. And the foolish Abdus, they took the word foolish and they make it the name of the father of Abraham. So do you see how smart this religion is? Starting from Muhammad, by the way. Because Muhammad himself do not know what is that. He caught what he heard from somebody. There is a story of two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two slaves who they are from, uh, they are Assyrian from Iraq, and they speak Aramaic, and they were the one who was telling him stories. So he caught the name, he, the word from there, and he put it in the Quran. Do you see how genius Muhammad is? Hmm. And then. You continue. This is the same chapter he chose for us, by the way. We are not choosing different chapter. All right? I mean, sorry, we are now in chapter 6. If you go down here, you will see Abraham. Suddenly he worship uh, stars and moons and sun. Abraham, Abraham is a pagan person, according to the Quran. But isn't it the Quran that says, Allah forgive not the one who does worship someone beside him? If you say to me, if you repent, and then that Allah will forgive him, that's mean the verse is wrong. Uh, guys, do you understand what I'm saying?
if the Quran saying that Allah he forgive not those who associate with him other person that's mean Allah will forgive not we convert to Islam we don't for convert to Islam doesn't mean that's it it says Allah he forgave everything except associating with him so if somebody was associating with Allah and he convert to Islam then this verse is stupid if Allah forgive him because it says Allah forgive everything and remember Allah will forgive only for the believers you know the forgive does not go for us you know what I mean so when he say Allah forgive everything except what supposedly in Arabic is a shirk and Muslims are mushrikeen because they are the one who associate Muhammad with Allah and everything so if you take a partner with Allah well Allah will never forgive you the verse is so clear so Abraham you will go to hell Muhammad you will go to hell Muhammad was entered the age of 40 worshiping idols and we can show it from the Quran all the Muslims who converted to Islam, they was worshiping idols, and they are still until now kissing black snow. May Allah bless her. She is in the shape of a vagina. If there is any Muslim here have anything to say, please let us know. Don't forget to invite your friends, and don't forget to give us a like if you like it, and dislike if you don't like it. All right? And you know, like, you know, and don't forget to make a comment. I mean, you watch the video, uh, why, what you will lose if you post that? Are you, you know, okay, why people are so cheap? Cheap in everything, cheap in comment, cheap in calling, you know, to defend this poor guy in Indonesia, cheap in, I don't want to mention Indonesia, don't even talk about it. They, they are cheap even in posting comment. So don't you have an opinion? Don't you have something to say? You watch something about God, debate, argument, you heard nothing, you, you did not use your brain, you don't want to make a comment to say your mind, you agree, you disagree, cheap. So then, this verse obviously is a stupid verse, but just to show you a very clear example of the stupidity of the, of the Quran. If you go in the Quran, we will find tons of verses, endless verses, have no meaning. But just to show you the verses which have meaning. Because even the verses which has meaning is a stupid. Alright. Chapter 5, verse number 3. As an example, look how, how, look, how look the translation. I mean, the Muslim, they try to translate the Quran. They, they write an article to translate a verse. Forbidden for you, for okay, why? Hey, Muslims, why is forbidden for you? You remember the, the guy he said to us, the Quran is so easy and explained in details. Okay, why? Suddenly, if you okay, if you if you read the verse before it and the verse after it, there's nothing to explain. Okay, why? Why it's forbidden for us those things? Why it's forbidden to eat the swine, as an example? Any Muslim can tell us? You go in the Bible, you will find details about what to do, what not to do, and why. Here, why? Okay. And the meat of that which has been slaughtered as sacrifice to other than Allah. Well, hold on. That is a stupid statement because Muslims are allowed to eat the food of the Christians and the Jews. <laughs> oh boy. If it's forbidden, if it's forbidden, to eat food which is and like let us say meat for someone slaughtering for in the name of other god well is your god is the god of the jews is he like elohim is he adonai is he uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, I am who I am. Is he Jesus? Is it, nobody slaughter in the name of Allah between us. So why you allow them to eat our to eat our food? Idiot. And here you see how stupid the Quran again. Because if you are saying that the Christians are worshipping someone beside Allah, and that make them associating two, like one false god with a real god, and then you say to them, uh, don't, don't eat those who, uh, who slaughter in the name of other god. Well, so how you allow them to eat the food of the Christians? Any Muslim can explain? Stupidity is amazing. And this is why when the Muslim, they go in the street and they say, we want to buy halal food, this is a joke. Because every Muslim is allowed to eat a slaughter of a Christian. Do you see the hypocrisy and stupidity? There's two sides of it. Hypocrisy and stupidity, because the Quran says you can eat whatever the Christians eat. And here we ask ourselves, if the Quran says you can ever eat whatever the Christian eat, it's for it's it's lawful for you. Then you can eat whatever they eat, even if it's pork. A Muslim scholar he will try to explain. He says, Yeah, it says that, but what we understand it is, except if it's forbidden. <laughs> Well, here it says, <laughs> does it say here, except what Allah forbid in the verse? Did Allah forget to put it there? Are you saying that Allah, he forgot to say to you, I allow you only what is allowed to you to eat from the people of the book, food, doesn't say that. And remember here, there's two parts of the verse. Here, there's the guy, he says, pure meat. This is false. This is not, you know, it's, it says, at -tayibat, which means taste good. The tasty. Hmm? Tayyib mean, uh, you know, like it can be for food. When you put it for food, uh, it can be even for male and female. Uh, as an example, just to show you another example, just to remind me of a verse in the Quran, so we can laugh, where uh, the Quran mentioned this statement again. Chapter 24, verse number 26. Here you see a clear example of the stupidity of the author of the Quran. So not only the one who followed the Quran must be really idiot. Because can't you see? How, okay, who here, who is a Muslim don't see that this is a stupid statement? Take your time to read it. Who is here with us? He, he, he don't agree that this is a stupid statement. Any Muhammadan? Anyone understand why this reverse is stupid? It's not only stupid, it's, this is, it's if even a donkey will not come with such a thing. Because here it says, al lil The bad ones, the bad people, the bad women, they will marry bad men. Are you sure? Yes, brother. Who said that? The Quran. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. Look, by the way, the keyboard now is working because I order a new one. <laughs> Each time I come to write, stop working now I order a new one <laughs> it's working <laughs> Unbelievable. all right so guys the, the verse says that Allah he make a destiny that bad women marry bad men and good women marry good men 
So what we will do with this verse, Abdul? When it says there are two prophets, one of them is Nuh or Noah, and the other one is Lut. And both of them, their wives betray them. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you see the stupidity? Did you notice with me the stupidity? Who, who did not know, who didn't understand yet what I'm talking about? Look, let us go slowly. Slowly we go. This is special special episode, slowly episode for the Abdul. Common urine is taking effect. Bad look look at look at look at look at the stupid translation by the statement. What about the statement? You know where it says the statement, you donkey idiot. Where is the word stated meaning from? Which translation is that? Statement Hilali Khan statement. By the statement. But this is about people. What bad statement? And if it's bad statement, what does it have to do with the, with the word after bad statement are for bad people? What the heck? And now he tried to fix it. He says between two bracket or bad women for bad men. Like what the heck? <laughs> what does statement have to do with this? <laughs> oh. Let us change the translation and you will find a new Quran appear in a miraculous way. Just change the translator. As uh, simple as that. Don't change anything. Huh? Look at this. There's no bad statement no more. It's gone. <laughs> no, sorry. I cannot take calls now. It's night time. At night time, I don't like to take calls because we will scream and the neighbors will be upset. Uh, women impure for men impure look at this idiot too look at this idiot he fix it impure what the heck does that mean i mean there's a human being is a pure and the human being is not a pure what what, what where does translation look? and the women impure are for men impure and men impure for men impure and women for purity for men priority and men for priority are for women priority like what the heck all of this in one verse. I mean, how many times the word impure, brotherly, pure, 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 pure? Who made this translation? This is Yusuf Ali. Change Yusuf Ali. You will see a new Quran right away will appear. Impure, brotherly, 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 brotherly. Okay, let us see a different one. Shakir, uh, Shakir, Shakira. Shakira is the best. Forget about the rest. She can make better Quran and you can love it. And you shake uh, your head and say in Turkish, Aman Rabbi Aman. And clean things are for unclean ones. Like, what the heck? What? Unclean things? What is the word unclean? This is about a human being, it's about the females. So, unclean, the females are things? لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالبطي. Female became any clean thing. Well, she is a TV. I mean, in Islam, woman, she is she is a thing. So, any clean things for any clean ones. Look at this genius. I mean, do you see how, how they understand the Quran? What is the guy who said that? Uh, the Quran is made so easy to understand. <laughs> so easy to understand. Okay, so it's so easy to understand to come to the conclusion that unclean things for unclean ones and those are women. So suddenly, the wife she became unclean things. And look, unclean things are. Hmm. Change the translator. Should we change the video name and call it a change the translator? Let us go to a different one. Sahih International. I like the word Sahih. Now, now you see, the name of the translator is Sahih, which means correct. The Muslim, they will say this is not correct translation. <laughs> like Al-Bukhari. It's a Sahih Bukhari. It's Daif. It's Sahih Muslim. It's Daif. 
evil words for evil men women they became words here لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالفلافل خير الدين. Don't change the topic. خير الدين. This is different. You know, أولياء. You're an idiot. No, أولياء is a friend and everything. And if you are saying to me it's a wrong translation, that's mean your prophet is a stupid too, because I can show you the hadith. You're an idiot like the rest. So look, the women they became wards. I mean, come on, all of us we like to marry wards. Evil wards for evil men? And evil men for evil wards? And good wards are for good men? <laughs> and good men are? <laughs> But this is about women and men. What words? What is the guy he said the Quran is so easy to understand? This is about women. There's nothing there about words. We change the translator again. Uh, we go to Khattab. Khattab. This is from Afghanistan. And now he is a refugee. He was a translator. Look, what the heck, the word, the word, look, first it was a statement, then became evil things, then became evil words, and now wicked women. So beautiful. Finally, there's a guy, he said, it's about women, wicked men, women for wicked men. So why do others, they are saying words, tomato, potato, falafel, things, evil things for evil ones but is women are things they can't even explain a simple verse in their stupid quran they can't even translate it that's why i'm working the translation just wait for my translation so now look at this verse as long allah he destiny that wicked women they are going to marry wicked men that's mean nobody should divorce <laughs> correct <laughs> that's mean if you are a good person your wife she will be a good person then you will have a good family so what's wrong then <laughs> same time we just showed you a verse in the Quran saying that prophet Noah and prophet Lut they were doing boom boom in the back of their husband the Muslim they say no it says it doesn't mean they are doing boom boom it says betray them Okay. They betrayed them by doing what? Eating chicken? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let us say they were betraying them by stealing food from the refrigerator. But that means Noah is bad. And Lut is bad. And those both are prophets in Islam. Correct? So do you see the stupidity? How you say in the other verse that Allah he destiny or make a destiny that bad women marry only bad men and good men marry good women only. And not only that, we are not done. What about Aisha and, uh, and Hafsa and the rest of the women who they made a strike against Muhammad? Even the Quran says, which means they became kuffar. And they made a strike against Muhammad. They throw tomato and potato at his door. <laughs> and Allah, he threatened them, if they don't behave, Allah will say, Allah, Allah will come. And Jibreel. And the Jihadi. And ISIS. And Al-Qaeda. And the police of Indonesia. Police of Indonesia will be there right away. Come on. Hello. They have to protect the Prophet from two women. They are five foot tall. If it's better of your wives, both of them turn to Allah. In repentance, but just, 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 did you see? It says that those women they have to repent, they are bad. But the Quran just said that bad women they marry bad men. <laughs> That's me, Muhammad is a bad man. If bad women marry bad men, and bad men marry uh, and good men marry good women, it's, it's not me who said that. Your Quran, your Quran. 
through Quran, bro. And the funny thing is, you know, you remember the girl, her name is Dexter. She made a comment, I cannot find it. She said, You are lying about everything. I'm like, you, you idiot. I'm showing everything in the screen. And you can go and read every interpretation for those verses. You will see it's exactly what I'm saying. Bad women for bad men. Allah, He made a destiny that bad women marry bad men. Okay, so Allah, he made destiny, bad men, for bad women. <coughs> and good women, they marry good men. How correct that news is. Ah, now the keyboard is not working. Uh, now it's working. You know those Mac ninety nine dollars, one hundred forty nine dollars for for the for the keyboard. Can you believe it? How big thieves they are! What a thieves! <sighs> Let us go back. What translation was it? <laughs> we have to go to the other one. Women impure for women. Women impure are war for men impure, and men impure for women impure, and women of a purity are for men of purity, and men of a purity are for women. I mean, who, who, how stupid is the one who made this verse? I mean, do you need to repeat the same thing? If I say good women for good men, it's over, and bad women for bad men, it's over. We don't need to repeat and bad women. <laughs> This is a grandma, she is 113 years old, and she is killing her time. This is not God is talking. Let us go to the guy, his name is Khattab. Khattab is the one who go and ask for girls' hands, but those are, he's not asking for himself. He's asking, you know, this is like the, 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 the street uh, uh, practice. Like, you know, women in the Middle East, they have a, a woman, she do this business. She go, and she look for a woman, she is like, you know, let's say you have a son, you hire her to go around to the houses and spy if they have like a beautiful girl. So Mr. Khattab, he said, wicked men for wicked women, and wicked men for wicked women. What? We just, we just said the same. I mean, does it matter really if we flip it? Girl, do you see the stupidity? You see, the problem is, most of us, when we read, we don't focus deep. Like when I was a kid, I was reading this, I was like, what the heck with this, you know? And nobody noticed that this is stupid. They say, what's wrong with it? This is stupid, you just say the same. If wicked men, women, they marry wicked men, you do not need to say, and wicked men are for wicked women. What the point? Uh, well, don't remind me of what the point. But the sister, the sister, they ask a question. And she's saying, what the point of repeating this verse? And I said to her, you get the point, sister. Exactly our point. But I'm going to explain to you. Allah, he repeated because we are slow. And very slow. So he had to repeat it over. And over. And over. And over. And over and come tomorrow to answer you. Thank you very much. You just need... Oh boy. But did he stop there? No. And virtuous women are for virtuous men. And virtuous men are for virtuous uh, women. <laughs> the virtuous are innocent of what wicked say. They will have forgiveness and honorable provision. Oh, that's deep. And the verse after it, it says, Oh, believer, don't enter the houses other than your own. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what does this have to do with this? <laughs> uh. <coughs> 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 <sighs> I'm going to die one day from laughing. Which is a good death, anyway. So, okay, but let us focus on this one here. 
if the wicked women they marry wicked men and the wife of Muhammad she is a wicked woman according to the Quran and Allah asking her to repent because you know you rebuke the wicked one correct you don't rebuke the good one correct the Quran is so clear did I say so clear come on a second ago you said the Quran is the clear <laughs> you sound like Allah now it's so clear brother it's so clear it says it's better if you you of you, you wives both turn into Allah in repentance for your heart have certainly flattered they have a flat heart you know you drive in the highway and then a nail go inside the tire good luck for you huh so now Aisha and Hafsa they have a nail and by the way it's not only both of them the Quran is stupid again because the, the, the all the wives of Muhammad they make two parties there's two parties, Democrat and Republic. <laughs> uh, you cannot call me right now. We take we take call in the daytime, not nighttime. Today now it's night time for me. It's very late. It's it's 12 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it's 11:55. So anyway, but if you continue, okay. But forget about this. So now it's confirmed that the wives of Muhammad are bad women, and Allah is asking them to repent so how the Quran says wicked women for wicked men any mistake can explain if wicked men women for wicked men that's me Muhammad is wicked and Lut was wicked and Noah was wicked because the Quran again saying clearly that the wives of both they betray their husbands So do you see how stupidity this word, the Quran is? I'm just giving you an example. So why you expect someone who follows such a stupid thing, stupid book, to be smart? It's not even fair. You know what I mean? Smart people. I, you know, I will, I will, I will just change one word in the Quran. I will say smart men. They follow smart, smart women. They follow smart God, and a smart, uh, uh, smart men. They follow smart God. And a smart uh, um, God, he he have a smart man, <laughs> but I didn't see. There's none of them is smart here. <laughs> yeah, uh, what about Suleiman? You know, <clears throat> uh, what about uh, 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 I mean, oh, oh, uh, Eve, Eve. According to Muhammad, if not Eve, uh, Adam, he commit no sin. And, but in different story he says that he, he was he, it was Allah he made him commit sin but look in here it's reported by Allah's uh, messenger saying had not if being of uh, uh, of Bani Israel the children of Israel meat will not decay this is science by the way according to the science if not the Jews are exist you, you can put the beef in the table for 10 years 20 years five years a thousand of years and the food will not decay but because of the Jews brother the food decay brother this is pure science, brother. You see, this is why they blame the Jews for everything. So, and then he says, he continued, and had not been for Eve, women would never have acted unfaithfully toward her husband. That's mean all women are bad. And Eve, she was a bad woman. Guys, does it say here unfaithfully, or this is my translation? Does it say there unfaithfully? And look, the Abdul, they will say to you, this is weak. You eat it. It says Sahil Bukhari and Muslim. It's weak. I don't care. <laughs> it's a goat, even if it doesn't fly. <laughs> but look what happened. If Eve, she was a wicked woman, and she is unfaithful, and this is all the women, supposedly, who follow Eve. All of all the women, they follow Eve, according to the, to the Hadith here, Muhammad. And the funny Muhammad, he see women, she come in the image of the devil, she live in the image of the devil, but he want to have as many as he can, he, he want from them. But to focus in the, in, the, in the problem here, as long Eve is unfaithful, and the Quran says, wicked men marry wicked women, and wicked women marry wicked men, that means Adam was a wicked. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to change the title of this video <clears throat> I'm going to call it 
wicked women for wicked men and wicked men for wicked women uh, no hold on uh, no I will call it wicked uh, uh, wicked uh, now I know where the word Wikipedia is coming from Wikipedia 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 that's deep see how fast I come with the conclusion that's very fast Waka, waka, wakaroni, macaroni. That's so good, man. So let us change the name of the video, and we will call it "Wicked Men." Wicked Aisha for Wicked Muhammad. Eh, I like it. <laughs> we proved. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Write, write down the title for me. Give me, give me your idea. We should change the title. Make it uh, "Discovery." Quran says wicked Muhammad marry wicked women correct or I don't know like give me an idea I don't know I'm out of ideas because I gave them to the charity of Allah in the cabin <laughs> you know I was doing muta there so you know I'm out of uh, ideas you know Why you don't want to talk to Uthman? With the coward, you don't dare to let me talk to him. Who is it? This, we just got him busted. Just watch the video about uh, about uh, about uh, what uh, Mary. She get married. He freed her to honor her to marry her. This is a potato. This is why you don't dare to to say hello. <laughs> we don't talk to him. <laughs> It's me who don't want to talk to him. It's him who don't dare. <laughs> give me give me his Skype. I will call him right now. <laughs> potato. <coughs> All of you are potatoes. This is the truth. Uh, just get get out of here. I think this is you. This is you, Othman, uh, uh, the coward. Why you don't talk about me? Why you don't talk, call me? <laughs> hide behind the bushes. Hide, coward, potato. Prophet of Allah, he married married the Copt. He freed her to honor her to marry her, and later we find that he never freed her. He never honored her. He never married her. Watch the video. It's still there. And love. Cowards. So guys. I will name it Wicked, Wicked Muhammad. Okay, hold on. I need to go to event. All right. <clears throat> and we will call it wicked uh, let us see change title Hey, we're going to the keyboard is not working again. Come on, keyboard. All right. Okay, we will call it Muhammad. He was a wicked man with wicked wives. What do you think, guys? Muhammad was a wicked man with wicked wives. Oh no, no, I should say, uh, Quran, Allah said. That's better. Okay, so now we have a new title. And now it's so clear that Muhammad was wicked because as you see, the Quran is asking Muhammad wives to repent. And you don't ask somebody to repent unless he is wicked, unless he is a sinner. Sin is a wickedness. Sin is evil. Sin is ugly. We do not need to discuss it, right? So when you say clearly that they are now married to Muhammad, And they are practicing a wicked behavior to the point they became almost kuffar. Actually, there is a 
there's a Shia, uh, you know, videos, you can re watch them and they will explain to you how filthy Aisha she was. And the Shia, I believe they are somehow, they are right about Aisha is killing Muhammad. You see, you remember the story of Muhammad, the Muslim, they say he have kids, right? So they say he have a kid, first kid, second kid, but I believe he never have a kid. But anyway, but you will notice that all those kid children, they die in a very early age. If Muhammad really have kids, I believe strongly that Aisha is behind their death because she don't want them to take her place, those women. Because if they have children, she is not giving him a child, she will lose her place and her father will not be the caliphate. You will notice that all of them, those are dead in a very early age. And then we will find out that Muhammad, you remember the Muslim once he was debating me, suppose he's a sheikh, shaky sheikh. He said, well, the hadith says that the prophet is dying from poison. Well, he ate the food, the poison food, four years ago. How he died four years after? How he died four years after? But look, by the Muslims giving such a stupid refutation, they prove to us something more important. If Muhammad saying that because of the food I ate in Khaybar, I'm dying, that means Muhammad is a false prophet. Because you do not know how he's dying and what he's dying from. Allah failed, him, failed to tell him the truth. If Aisha is the one killing him slowly by putting little, a drop of poison every day, slowly, slowly, slowly the guy is dying, so nobody will notice that he is suddenly died with no introduction. That's me, Muhammad still is a fool because he still think that he is dying because of the food he ate at Khaybar. Either one is a problem. And remember this verse here, or sorry, this hadith here is in total agreement with Muhammad saying in the Quran that if Muhammad is fabricating Quran, Allah will cut his artery. I have to repeat writing the word twice or twice three times sometime to make it work. Chapter 69, verse number 45. Look at the miracle, chapter 69. 69 is what Muhammad, he loves 69. Everything about Muhammad is 69. So the Quran says that this is a book sent down from Allah. Had the messenger made up something in our name, we had we would have certainly sized him by his right hand and we then severed his orta. You see it? Well, this is exactly what Muhammad he said. He died by cutting his artery. Where is the hadith? Here we go. Someone might say, well, if Allah is saying, if Muhammad is fabricating Quran, and Muhammad is killed by Allah, because it's exactly as the Quran says, if he is fabricating, this is how Allah will kill him. And Muhammad confirmed exactly how he was dying. I feel as my orta, if my, my orta is being cut off from that poison. But this is what the Quran is saying. A Muslim might say, but this is mean that Allah is true. Absolutely false. Muhammad, he made a lie. And the true Lord, he wanted him to be exposed. So he led his death to be in such a way so everybody will know that he is a fabricator. Muhammad, he made a promise that if he is lying, if he is fabricating Quran, <coughs> then Allah will do exactly as what happened to him. And this is what happened to the liars. They will end in the hellfire. So I want to say thank you for the Muslims. <clears throat> you prove to us that Muhammad is a genius. Allah is genius and you are genius. <laughs>
sorry, following the Quran, because today we prove that the Quran is made by a wicked God who says stupid things, even he's insulting his own prophet, because wicked women, they marry wicked men, and we just showed you many of those uh, uh, Quranic prophets, including your own prophet Muhammad, they are marrying wicked women. So either the Quran is saying the truth, and that will make Noah is wicked, Abraham is wicked, Muhammad is wicked, and Lut is wicked, etc. And even Adam, who married Eve, is wicked too. And this will destroy all your belief, if you have any left. All right? So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I'm not going to keep it longer than this. Please copy the video and share it. And let us have a good time. Somebody saying, <clears throat> as a Muslim, he's saying you are a clown. Well, my friend, let us talk about the clown. As long as you mention the word the clown, hold on. You see, I like the Muslim comment, which is coming from anger. People, a clown, one of the things about a clown, he do things, as an example, he put makeup in his face. Did your prophet put makeup in his face? You're a prophet, obviously he is a clown. He put eyeliner three times a day. You're a prophet, he don't pee like women, like men, he pee like women. You're a prophet, he received Quran in the wife of clothing. You're a prophet, I don't know, should I say this one? Eh. No, that will not make him a clown, that will make him a bigger clown. Ah, like like here here like when Muhammad he 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 hug a man and they start hugging each other and they take off their t-shirt and the, and then the guy he start kissing him down his belly and the, and the, the Muhammad he you know like they love it and and the guy he said to him this is don't stop this is where I like it prophet 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 don't stop you are talking about the clown the clown is the one who follows such a person. He take off his shirt. Imagine, this is a prophet of God. He was tickling a man, not a kid. And the man had no t-shirt. The man, he said to Muhammad, well, this is not fair. Yeah, I, have my, you don't have, I don't have a t-shirt. I'm topless and you are not. So Muhammad, he left up his t-shirt. So the guy, he go inside and he start kissing him down his belly. And this, and then he said to him, this is what I want. And began to kiss his side. This is the, this is the Muslim translation. Who is the clown? There's no man respect himself. He will do, allow such a thing. This is a prophet of God. A man is hugging a man naked and they are kissing each other belly. And the guy, he said to him, this is what I want. So my friend, I understand your pain. It's very horrible. But as you see, I will answer you from the Quran. Clown for the clown. Read, read with me, read with me, read with me, brother, brother, brother. I will use your word. Brother and sister. The Quran says, chapter 24, verse number 26, 26. Clown women, they marry clown men. And clown men, they marry clown women. And then we find that Muhammad, his wives are a clown. And the proof, Allah is asking them to repent. <laughs> so, who is the clown? That is a question I will leave it for you, Abdul. You are so angry and I understand. And you see, Muslims watch my videos, all of them, they get angry in the beginning. Then, which is amazing, by the way. There's, there's a big number of those who make donation to me. They are Muslims who used to curse me. Can you believe it? They used to call me names. Even some of them, they used to make videos for me, which mean against me. And now they are donating to me. Uh, it's better if your wife, your clown wives, repent to Allah. They are a clown. Huh? And if the clown don't repent, look what Allah will do. Look at this joke. And if they continue uh, to be clown, uh, collaborate against him. Look, the clown, they are collaborating against him. You are calling me cl clown because I'm against Muhammad, correct? That's wonderful. So the wives of Muhammad, they are 
cooperating against Muhammad, they are clown. They know that Allah Himself is His guardian. Uh, and Zibril, like, what the heck? All of this because of Aisha and Hafsa, two women need Allah protection. Not enough. No, brother. Zibril is coming too. Who else? And the righteous believer, every righteous believer. And is that enough? No, brother. Osama bin Laden, Dajin, all. And not only that, and the angels and all are supported for him. There's nobody left in this universe. All of this because two wives of Muhammad are fighting with him. If the fight of Muhammad with his wives involve Allah and the angels and Jibreel and every righteous, what Muhammad will do in wartime then? I mean, who is left at home? Who left in heaven? Everybody's down. Teradam, 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 teradam. Allah, please. Aisha and Hafsa, they are driving me crazy. The clown, they are collaborating. I don't know even how to read the word. Colo, co, uh, collaborate, colo, collaborate, colo, collaborate against him. Like, what the heck? How you do that? How you do clown women? How you collaborate against the barbarian of faith? You don't do that. And then Allah, he called Allah. Sorry, Muhammad, he called Allah, and Allah, he said, okay, you should know if you don't stop against him, Allah himself is his guardian. And hold on, it's not enough, because Aisha, she have long nails. Come on, there's no way Allah alone can, can protect him. Allah and his guardian and Jibreel. Look, look at the stupidity here. If Allah is the God of the whole world, who needs Jibreel? What is your brain? Where is your brain? Do you have any? If Allah is the God of all the world, and Allah said, okay, I'm his guardian. So why he continue in Jibreel? Who is Jibreel? It's like a Trump, you know, is a threatening. Let us say he is the he was the most powerful man in this earth as a president of USA. And then he say to his wife, okay, if you don't <laughs> stop, <laughs> I have Allah and Zabril, but this guy, he have nukes. <laughs> he have nukes. He can burn the whole earth. <laughs> I have Allah and Zabril, not only Allah, Allah alone has been on. Because you know, his wife, she is a very aggressive. Allah and Zabril and every righteous believer all the, all the Muslims in Indonesia, the police, the Mujahideen, Morocco, Erdogan will come. Erdogan the potato, his wife, she made a book about food now. She became a holy, pro she have a holy Quran of recipe. <laughs> and the one who paid for it, it was the Turkish government. <laughs> oh boy, look at this, look. And every righteous believer, etc. Look, look, look. Allah is his Mawla. Look at the translation, which means protector. Lord or master or protector, etc., etc., etc. And Zibril and the righteous and the believers. Furthermore, the angels are his helpers. Who is left in town, which is Allah's sky, is not down. Just because Muhammad, he have a, a fight with two clowns. So who is the clown? This is a question I will leave it for those who they are calling me names. I feel sorry for you, Abdul. And don't forget, Allah is not a clown. This is why he promised you to have an endless penis. But you never ask yourself, if Allah is not a clown, and you are not a clown too, how you can walk with it? Endless penis. So your penis behind seven seas and seven galaxies, and you are alive? That is painful. Do you think the spaceship will, will, will cut it off? <laughs> Anyway, so guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends. And uh, remember our friend, uh, Muhammad, the ex-Muslim in Indonesia, for those who did not write emails to, uh, actually, if any of you is good of those things to make petition, if you know how to do it, please make a page, give it to me, we can publish it and everybody can go and sign petition to USA government, whatever government you have, like England, USA, etc. 
let me know so thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and this is humbly your brother christian prince was showing you how genius is the one who wrote the quran wicked god exposing the wicked prophet and you have to be wicked to believe in wickedness take care